Well, hello, YouTubians, and welcome to the Barbecue Trucker. This is going to be how to play Farming Simulator 19 and how to get started. And this is going to be a quick start so you can learn everything and then you can go back and do how you want to do. Now, the first time I recorded this video, I don't know what happened. It's gone. So I'm re-recording the very first video. It's going to be a multi-part series. I'll try to name each part to, you know, what they pertain to mainly. This is the very first one on how to get started on Farming Simulator 19. And there's several things you want to do first. All right. When you come, when you turn it on and it loads up, this is what your screen will look like, your start screen. So go down to mods. You, this is a must. Click on mods, and it'll show you, the first one is the mods that they have, and uh, as you see down at the bottom, it says details back, search, or show all, show all mods. The, the best thing to do is get the mods that I'm showing you, and you can go get whatever mods you want, but you get the ones I'm going to show you here in a second that I have, and you can search for them by name, if, and then they'll come up, and you can download them they don't download they don't use much space and they don't take very long to download and they're free so what you want to do is go to this next one i'm going to the next one and this is the ones that i have so let's go all the way over we'll start from here okay on the top row uh you want the lone oak silo you want to get that because that's the biggest silo you can get and it, and it has multi-fruit where you can put everything in it all different stuff uh, you want to get that because it's bigger than anything that the game comes with. Below it, tank trailers. Get that one because I use them. The uh, over next uh, at the top is the basic pasture pack. I have it, but I don't think I use it. But you might, you know, it's optional. Below it, if you want John Deere tractors, there's you some John Deere tractors, U.S. version. It also has a uh, English version or Europe version or Euro version, but uh if you want john deere tractors you can get that uh on the top the next one over says diesel tank i recommend getting you that mod because i use that tank uh the one below it i don't even think i use or anything but i wouldn't worry about okay to the right of that one that says hs 10.5 tank trailers it's up to you if you want it uh, you don't have to have it uh i think i use one uh then below it is a tthd flatbed if you want a one ton dually flatbed get that you don't need it i have a pick regular pickup don't use it very often but uh, i do use it uh then at the top of the next one over to the right get the case eco teal 2500 those plows you'll use i use it to be the best plows i have below that it says the john deere 9000 pro series uh that's a combine if you want that big john deere combine go ahead and get it uh, they've actually got a couple that are a little better, I think, but uh, then up the top over the next one over service pack service pickup pack That's like they've got the fuel tanking put in the back of your pickup, but I can't figure out how to get it I even watched YouTube videos and the person that was doing the only, really only video that was worth watching The person that was doing it got to the point and he couldn't get it either and He said well, I guess I can't do it and then ended the video But uh, uh, you don't have to have it, but if you want it get it uh like I say, just go to the search and type in these names. I'm, I live in Central Texas, so I got the Central Texas Seasons pack. That way, it uh, it keeps you know the Central Texas Seasons. Uh, okay, upper upper right corner, New Woodshire. It starts you off in Ravensport, Ravenport. So uh, if you want a different area to start farms, you can go to New Woodshire. They've got several of them. You can go search for, you know, different areas that you might be interested in. The international flags, I got it. That way I can put an American flag wherever I want to. All right, let's go over. Then the next one over here. Uh, get that placeable farm silo. It can come in handy for an uh, overflow silo. I use it all the time. The one below is a John Deere uh, mower package. I don't use it. Uh, I use case tractors. But uh, John Deere tractors are good, too. If you want John Deere tractor, get you the front end loader thing because you'll need it on at least one of your tractors. Uh, then you got the 7R US Series, the 8RT. 
John, there's just bigger John Deere tractors. The horse ag aggravation, I don't really know what it is, but get it. Because I've, I've been told you need it. Once again, upper ones, more John Deere tractors. That bottom one's a sprayer that I don't use. It's got another, it's got a good sprayer that comes with the game. Uh, go ahead and get the Case IH-14 plow. I use it. And definitely get that bottom one, bottom right-hand corner if you want to get started fast, government subsidy. That way when you buy land, you can put a couple of signs up and you can get, you know, several million dollars a day for a couple of days to get you enough money to get yourself built up. Like I say, this is going to be a quick way to uh, do this. Okay, so therefore you've done your, all your mods. Now let's go back. And uh, when you click on career, it'll these will all be blank at first. They'll look like that. So the first one is the one that my son and I play. This one's one I play by myself. And this one is how to farm is the one that I started and lost the video. So I'll show you how it, so if you, if you click to start up, it's gonna look like this. You click on it and you got three choices. New farmer where you already have some land, some equipment in Ravensport and it'll teach you how to play farming simulator. Their tutorial is the longest, boringest, stupidest thing I've ever seen. Hopefully this will help you a lot better. Uh, you want to start there go ahead this is where I started this one and because uh, that way you start with some funds enough funds to buy land okay this one here your starting capital is very limited and you don't own any land or equipment yet so what you got to do is you've got to somehow another figure out how to get some money you got to get what little equipment you can get with the money you have that it starts you off with you got to do jobs for other people until you get enough money to buy your own stuff it's a total start from scratch so for this one here, and the quick, easy way to get started and learn it, I went to Farm Manager, the middle one. Okay, being I've already done that, let's go back because uh, uh, you click on it, and then it'll come up with your, you need to make sure that you check all the boxes of the mods that you're going to use. I have all of them checked, and you push the X button and it start. Now I apologize for this little delay. <clears throat> because I don't know how to pause and restart the videos yet. I'm new at this. I'm 58 years old. I have to learn everything from my great, my son, my kids, or my great nephews or grandkids. So <laughs> uh, bear with me a little bit while this loads. I'll try to explain some other things. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to start out and we're going to have to buy a piece of land because we need two things. We need a piece of land. You've got to own the land and do anything with it. We want to be able to put the government subsidy signs on there. I, just, I say start with two. Uh, that's plenty. Uh, put one or two government subsidy signs on. Buy your piece of property and put one or two government subsidy signs on there. And then you start making money from the government. And then I'll explain to you how you make even more because you can fast forward it and all that. But anyway, you want to do that. And also you want to put a, that in a house. Put a house on there because you need a place to go to sleep. And uh, all right, now that it's it's ready to go, it'll start you out at your house, which I've already put in. Of course, you can see there, but let's say I didn't. All right, so you push the options button, and there's your map of everything. Okay. So what I did, because I want to be centrally located, because there's also a lot of flat ground, which is important when you put buildings and stuff, because the landscaping is really hard on this. But anyway, uh, I started, I, I put my house right here because I like the view off the cliff over the ocean. So I bought, the first thing I did was bought property 13, because I had enough money to do it, and I put two government subsidy signs on there. And then I went to the this right here, where it says game settings. You see the second, the top one, is how you where you name your farm. I named it How to Farm because that's what this is about. Then right below it, it says Real Time. Push it over to the left, it's 120 times. So I'll put it on that. Uh, that means I had the two government subsidy signs. That way I can start bringing in money quicker. Well, the time's going to go pretty fast, so you need a place to sleep. So we'll get to that in just a second. First of all, I want to go over all these. You need to. If you look what I've got setting, you can pause it and look at how I have everything set. I'll go over them real quick. Economic difficulty, I've got normal. Traffic, turn it off because it's just cars that are driving around that mean nothing and they're just in your way all the time. Uh, you can leave it on if you want. Uh, dirt, that's how dirty your vehicles get. I'll leave it at normal. Automatic engine start. That means when you get in the vehicle, the engine starts. When you get out, the engine dies. 
if you don't if you have that off and you get in the vehicle and you start it and you get out and go do something else the vehicle stays running so you're just wasting gas so i leave that on and then uh go to the stop and go braking leave that on because what that is your right joystick is gas go forward your left joy i mean trigger right trigger your left trigger is uh what do they call that l2 and r2 but anyway uh the triggers the left one is uh backwards reverse well if you have stop and go braking on that means you can be going forward with your right trigger and then hit the left trigger and it'll stop and start going backwards if you have it off it'll stop and then you have to let off of it and then re-click it again to start going backwards so i like it on fuel usage i just leave that on default you can have it on lower default but and now then on helper refuel the helpers you can hire helpers i leave all of it off on the fertilizer the fuel the seeds slurry the manure because i can do all that stuff myself but i do use helpers to do other stuff and i'll show you in the future and you know later on plant growth leave it at fast or you'll wait you're letting all day long for your plants to grow plant withering i turn off that way you don't have to worry about them dying on you crop destruction turn off that way you can drive through the field without tearing them up uh periodic plowing off because I use, which you'll find out in future videos, when I plant, it's called a, a seeder, or if you sow oats or sow barley or whatever, when you plant it, the one I buy has a cultivator with it, so you don't got to cultivate or plow ahead of time. So I leave the periodic plowing required off. Lime required, don't want to mess with it, so I'll leave it off. Weeds, turn them off. If not, you'll have weeds all over your field. you got to go and spray herbicide. It's a pain in the butt. Okay, auto save interval, you can change it. I leave it on 10 minutes, that way it saves it every 10 minutes. Okay, now then, the general settings. The help window, leave it on. The uh, help icons, leave on. Colorblind mode, if you're colorblind, turn it on. Money unit, you can go to dollar, or pound, or euro. Measure unit, miles or kilometers, you know, acres or hectares, or whatever you call that. I don't know what that is, I just leave it on. Leave the field info on. The radio, that's if you want to listen to the radio, like in your vehicle, when you're driving your tractor or whatever, you turn it off, turn it on, whatever. Uh, radio range vehicle only, leave it on that because if not, it'll play the whole time when you get out of your vehicle or not. Reset vehicle camera, I leave that off, but I may try playing it with it on. I don't know if it's any better or not. You can try both ways. Leave that one on, leave that one off, leave that one on, leave that one where it's at at 100%, you can pause this video and look at these and see where, where I've got them set. That's to me, is the optimal way to set them. Especially on that steering sensitivity. Boy, you, at first, you, you hitting, running, and everything. Uh, switch to trains. If you want to drive the train, leave that on. If you don't even want to mess with the trains, then turn it off. But I just leave it on. That way I can get on the train and drive it around if I want to. And then the volume is at your leisure. I leave it on 10% when I have my headphones on. And then 100% when I'm just watching it on TV. But okay, that's got that covered. Okay, so we bought the house and placed it. We had the time going super fast. Now, we did it in the first video. I'm not going to do it right now. Like I said, I showed you a while ago. You push the options. You go over there and put it on 120. And let's go back. Now, if you look at the clock in the upper hand right hand, 9, 18, 9, 20, 21, 22. Time goes fast. But you get government money. When it gets to about 9 o'clock at night, go up to your porch right here. Come in here like that. And you see where it says sleep. Up there left, it says sleep. Push L3. You push L3 and then pick how long you want to sleep. And then wake up the next morning with more government money. Because you have your government subsidies. That's just to get you started. We're going to get rid of those after we get going. Then the next thing you want to do is buy more land. And like I said, oops, wrong button. No, it was the right button. I'm sorry. Okay, now you go to the map and you look. Like I say, I want to keep everything centrally located. So what I did was I bought this property was where I put the house. This property, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And that's all the properties I'm going to buy for right now. I'll show you how to buy other properties that don't mean anything just to get rid of money so that you can start from zero once you get everything going, if that's what you want to do. Like I say, this is a century located. It's really a flat area for you to, uh, you know, put your stuff. So go and buy these, these properties. And once you do that, then you can start with your dairy farm or with whatever you want to start with next. But that'll be covered in the next video. Uh, 
because like I say, I want to try to keep these videos under 20 minutes. It's going to be a multi-part series uh, on how to play Farming Simulator 19. Oh, and by the way, just to show you this, uh, and you want to get out of the game, what I do is I push the options button, go over to that one right there, and if you look at the bottom, push the square, and it'll save everything up to now that hadn't been saved, and then you push the triangle, and it goes back to your start screen. Okay, so that should be it for video number one. And uh, more videos to come. Like I say, these are instructional videos or how-to videos to show you how to play the game, help you with a lot of things that are not covered in the help menu, and uh, and so on. So let's end this one here. This is the barbecue trucker. Wishing everybody a blessed and happy day or night. And uh, please remind and trying to remind you to please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little dingy bell. That way you get a notification every time I upload a video. <clears throat> and if you're interested in Farming 19, you're going to want to do that because I they will teach you exactly how to play this game 100%. <clears throat> and I'll do it as easy and quickly as I can. So I'll be looking for future uh, episodes. And like I say, I'll try to name each episode with what I do in each one of them so that I can, uh, so that you'll know, you know. If you're looking for something specific, you can go straight to that video. And uh, and so anyway, like I say, this is the old barbecue trucker. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, God bless America. God bless y'all. Stay safe. Stay well. Wear a mask. I'm sorry if you don't like that. Kiss my ass. That's one of my famous sayings. Don't make it personally. It's kind of a joke, but please, please, please. We got to get this coronavirus under control. Anyway, I'm not going to preach on that. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, y'all have a good one.